two are about to embark on a bus tour together. So what's, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to seeing Sarah dressed up in her purple ball gown as Tessa. I'm looking forward to performing a song about Cassie's characters that she doesn't know what it's about yet. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> I'm looking forward to driving the bus. Maureen's going to have to kill the bus driver. Scary, and, scary. And, and take over the bus like, like in speed. She's been watching speed. Over and over and over again. Morning's gonna keep the bus going over 50 miles an hour the entire well, trip. This might be the same same answer then to this question. What are you most worried about on the <laughs> bus tour? I'm actually more worried about Maureen videotaping me when I'm not looking. Okay. And then sending it. Sony Pictures sent us a, like a blog, a bloggy. So we're supposed to record what we do. I'm more worried about her doing that and then sending it to them. That's a worry. I'm worried Maureen won't let me have a turn on the bus because I really feel I should have a turn on the bus. It's illegal for me to drive in this country. Sarah That's has exciting. had her license taken away actually multiple times for like crashing into walls and stuff. So we really a different don't place want to, to drive a wall. <laughs> <laughs> We're against the Sarah driving the bus, but I think it's going to happen. I'm a very good driver. Maureen says she's a very good driver. I guess we'll see, right? A <laughs> uh, movie you can ne will never get tired of watching. Speed. <laughs> <laughs> that is a very fine movie. Very fine movie. Oh, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang with Robert Downey Jr. That's a good one. Oh, I even actually want to pick just one. I mean, there's a vampire, then there's Pitch Perfect, then there's Easy A, and then there's I have one. Yes, sir. Flash Gordon. Original? Yeah. Oh. No, no, yeah. Does it? No. Yeah, I think so. It was bad when they canceled. I love it so much. I love okay, it yeah, Star Wars. I always watch Star Wars. I do not the first, the first three. The first three. Okay, what, what tunes are going to be on the bus between here and Vegas? Taylor! All Taylor all the time! Sarah's obsessed with Taylor Swift, so we have to give her at least a 30% Taylor Swift airing, which she has caused me to also like Taylor Swift. And in fact, I bought her a big bottle of Taylor Swift branded perfume for her for Christmas, which um, I think she kind of smells like Taylor Swift right now. She's probably Can we just say yes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, we're never, we're, we're never getting back together. <laughs> never, ever. <laughs> never, ever. Favorite food? Sushi. Cheese. I'm like a mouse. I could live in a cheese. Just mouse. cheese? Like a pile of cheese? Yes. yes. Cheese is not food. I mean, it's <laughs> and it's oh, food. It's like, like, it's not like a genre of food. Right. <laughs> is this a food genre? Yeah, food, food genre. genre. I like, you know, hippie vegetarian food. That's true. She likes like tofu and beans sprouts and stuff. Yeah. Okay. I suspect vegetables. Yeah. What, what character would you most like to be in each other's books? Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. I'm already a character in your book. That's actually <laughs> true. There's already a character called Maureen Brown who's named after Maureen in my books who is um, Simon's girlfriend. Well, she's obsessed with Simon Simon's and she thinks girlfriend. she's his girlfriend. And he thinks she's crazy. <laughs> <Simon's girlfriend>. Sometimes <laughs> in relationships, sometimes there are misunderstandings. It doesn't always work. I would like to be Jack the Ripper in Maureen's books. I'd like to be a some kind of villain or criminal. That would be fun. And then I think I'd like to be Cammy in Unspoken because she has like, you know, various hot guys to choose from. A lot of hot guys in her you know, like magical Cammy's village. <laughs> I like how Cammy's always busting in the things. Cool. Yeah, and she has the journalistic instinct, which I enjoy. Busting oh, in the well, let me see. I, um, and since we're just casting ourselves as the character's girlfriends, Miss Maureen, <laughs> I will obviously be Sebastian's girlfriend in Cassie's Mortal Instruments series. The villain is the villain. She likes the villain. I do. I like the bad boys, honey. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like there's a difference between a bad boy who's kind of naughty and drives a motorcycle and like a bad boy who's like bent on destroying the whole world. Yes. But Sarah doesn't feel that the way. The second no. one has ambition. Has goals. Long term man with goals. It's true. Evil, Evil goals. The villain's like, I'd like to burn down the world. I'm like, tell me more about your long-term plan. I'm so <laughs> glad that you have a five-year plan for our future together. And Whereas, then, you know, Maureen would be, I want to be Spencer's girlfriend. Spencer oh, doesn't yeah. have a long-term plan of destruction, but I love Spencer. he kind of does have a long-term plan of destruction. There you go then. So if you could give a That's subtitle to what the tour will be, <laughs> if you could subtitle the name of the tour, the bus tour, as you see it right now, well, by the time it gets to Vancouver and you get off, or by the time it gets to LA and you get off. Mayhem, Maureen, and the Mouse Army. 
that. Okay. Uh, yeah, I wish I thought about this more because I would have spent a lot of time thinking this up. Go, um, Sarah. Well, I guess we could just subtitle it in a creative manner, which is what people say when they see us coming. Dear God, no! Stop! There's a mower in the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a bus coming toward me? <laughs> I think that's a bit the mortal bus trippers. The mortal <laughs> bus trippers. Yeah. Yeah. Although people will then think that we're some kind of like bus enhancing exercise. Oh. But we can. We must, can we must increase our bus. Yeah. Or a rock group. Or a rock. We, we yeah. so oh. want to be a rock group. It's just that none of us have any music. Like talent. Jim and the Holograms. What would you play? Oh, the fault What's is in our What's your instrument? Oh, fault is in our bus. bus. <laughs> Especially if it breaks down. <laughs> um, Definitely not. What would driving. we play? I would want to play the drums. I feel like the drummer is always, you know, um, has to do the less work and gets all the attention. Um, if there could be a role for the person who plays the triangle but also <laughs> shimmies in a certain fashion, I feel that is the role that I was born to play. Okay, then clearly I'm just going to take it because it's wide open is the uh, Mick Jagger like uh, lead singer. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> and you break a guitar over your head. Yeah, sure, that's it. Sneak it. Like it. I'd listen to you. I'm already. It's one drummer, one lead singer, and a triangle. It's unconventional, yes, but I like shimmy. it. It's like the polyphonic <laughs> What do you think? Anything else you want to add, girls? Uh, you want to speak to your fans? I, we're very excited to meet you guys who are coming to see us on the bus tour. I hope that. This bus is going to be amazing. Yes. I, this I, bus is. Crazy. This bus is going to be crazy. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be like this bus is nicer than pretty much a house. If much anybody nicer tries to stow away on the bus, we will accept you. We welcome stowaways. Yes, if you'd like to try to stow away on the bus, the bus will be parked behind the bookstore. You're going to regret saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to shout, Cassandra Clare will hug everybody. <laughs> Cassandra Clare is inviting you all on the bus after this event to ride around. Uh, I, I think people's parents would probably know. Like you know that. what though? I, I just realized that we're going close to the Grand Canyon, aren't we? <gasps> we could so, totally visit the Grand Canyon. And I thought I watched this movie when I was a kid about these people that go on a bus trip to the Grand Canyon and the bus goes over the edge and the parents die, but the kid lives and he survives on the edge of the Grand Canyon and now I'm terrified a bus is going over the Grand Canyon. So we won't get we go. What, what movie was Our next stop is famous. It was like some fun. sort of made for TV. Sad, I saw it too. Sadness that movie. bus like hung on the edge of the okay, Grand Canyon, Canyon for like ten minutes while the parents screamed inside it and then it just went over. It's like the most show traumatic. So traumatic. It's, traumatic. No. it's the saddest thing you've ever seen. And then I was like, I never want to go to that I Grand Canyon. Made up also, and here you are now in a bus headed towards the Grand Canyon. We're gonna make a big circle. <laughs> <laughs> I shall drive the bus into the Grand Canyon. I would like That's to see true. it. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That was yeah, great. Thank you. That was fun.